Hello, my name is Andrew Schaumburg. I'd like to talk to you about a pathopathology tool called Pathopan. Pathopan is a tool to merge multiple pathology photos together. You use it by clicking this browse button and selecting the first image that we would like to use to merge together with other images. So I'll go ahead and select that first image. We see the green progress bar below has completed. Uh, that's good. The image has uploaded successfully. It will take between one and three minutes to process. Larger images take more time, uh, but this will take some time in order to process. The instructions above outline uh, some more details about that. And we see now the first image uh, has uh, been taken. It's taken by a smartphone at the microscope eye piece. And the processed images, which are approximately squares, uh, are visible beneath that. So now let's select the second image to merge with this. And again, we see the green progress bar completes. So I'm going to upload uh, a couple more images. Now, this is a good time, now that everything's uploaded, to do something else. We will see that uh, each of these images takes about a minute to three minutes to process. Uh, but we can let the computer here run and complete that processing unattended. So we'll wait here to be realistic uh, for how long this takes. And now we see the second image is available. Uh, this is again is at the microscope eyepiece with a smartphone. We see the processed and merged images below. And we can see this second image has largely overlapping information with the first image. The first image had to be rotated a little bit. You can see this rotated square here indicating the first image had to be rotated before it was merged with the second image. So this shows that the second image doesn't actually confer much additional information, if any additional information. But in this third image, uh, there is additional information that we see. And this shows some of the utility of this merging tool now that we have more information merged here in an image, more information than any of the single fields of view above it. Uh, and our final image is coming in here. And this gives us a whole slide scan. It's low quality, it's low resolution, but it doesn't require any special equipment. It's just with a microscope, a few pictures, uh, using a smartphone. And this, uh, this is the PathoPan tool, but we also provide PathoBox, which is a, a mounting. So we can, anyway, we can save this image. We can save this image as out.png uh, and use any uh, editor for images that you might have. You might have Photoshop, you might have Paint. I use the GNU image manipulation program. And what I'm going to do now that that image is saved, I'm going to edit the merged image uh, and uh, I'll format it to be more amenable for sharing with colleagues. So we see this merged image here. Uh, that's not rotated and cropped nicely, so I'm going to take a little bit of time here to clean this image up. Uh, my hands at the microscope aren't completely uh, straight, uh, so uh, we see a lot of rotations and squares patched together, a variety of artifacts, but if we rotate this image carefully and uh, crop it, we can get a nice rectangular image, uh, and that can be shared on social media or with colleagues. Um, and so you will notice some artifacts, like that square here in the bottom, that shadow comes from 
uh, the lighting at a microscope being a point source of light rather than a sheet source of light. So there is some shadow there for the artifact. There's, there are more seams that you'll see, but again, this is uh, this does not require any special equipment and you can get a low resolution whole slide scan uh, this way.